Uh, my name is Aaron. I'm one of the boss uh, channel specialists. And then I have Austin Sandick, who's also one of the channel specialists. What's up? What's up, everyone? What's happening? Austin, thanks for joining us here, too, as well. Thanks for having me. Uh, you guys, thank you for joining us here. Uh, and again, I want to thank Hyde Music for uh, letting us come on and talk about our gear. Uh, today, Austin and I are going to go over how to loop. Uh, there's a, I think that's one of the biggest challenges I think that people have when using a looper is often is that they're not sure how to actually make a seamless loop. Uh, so let's start out with that and let's, let's I'm going to pull up my pedal board here so you can take a look. All right. So check it out. Uh, on the picture here, I've got the uh, pedal board and I've got an RC10R on my left and then I have an RC1 on the right. The RC1 is our most basic looper that we have. Uh, it is basically a single track looper. Uh, it is cool in that it's got this little, uh, if you take a look over here, it's got this little loop, uh, which is like a little light that goes around. So let me, I'll just hit it play so you can see it for a second. So it actually is going to play and it actually gives me some indication of what's going on with my loop. It actually shows me when I'm recording, it's in red. And if I hit it again, it'll go into either overdub or playback mode. Right now I have it set up for playback mode. So it goes to green. And then if I go to overdub mode, you'll see it light up red and uh, you know, and kind of a yellow, red, green, yellow thing. So it's got, it's got a mix of colors going on here. And basically, it's going to indicate where I'm at in my loop. So as it, you see it spinning around, it actually tells me, kind of gives me a guide as to what my loop is doing. Uh, so to operate, uh, most loopers, they operate in this man manner. You basically have uh, the first time that you step on the pedal, it'll actually go into record mode, right? The second time you push the pedal, it'll either go into uh, playback mode or into an overdub mode. So I hit it again and you see it'll turn green for mine right now, but it's in playback mode. And uh, we'll show you how you can switch this on the RC1 too. Uh, but you know, basically uh, it's in playback. If I hit it again, uh, it'll go into my overdub mode and I can over layer over stuff over the top of it, right? And if I want to stop the whole loop it itself, basically you double tap. And that stops everything. Most loopers work this way. Uh, not even just ours. Just uh, you know, our, obviously our loopers do this, but uh, other ones as well. So uh, you know, just a basic uh, understanding. So remember, it's going to be record, either playback or overdub, and then uh, you know, double tap to stop. So one of the hard parts for people when they're looping uh, is that they don't know uh, how to how to loop a seamless loop. So if let's say I'm going to record this part, right? And what happens is. Here's my guitar. Uh, really quick, anyone curious, uh, I'm running a uh, Paul Reed Smith uh, McCarty 594 uh, through the pedals and then into a next tone uh, special uh, boss you know, amplifier and set for clean tone. So when I'm looping, right? So if I want to create a seamless loop, so one of the problems that you'll see people do is they'll do this. They'll start up, they'll, they'll hit on the pedal, right? And they'll start the pedal and then they'll start playing. And what will end up happening is you've got this blank spot at the beginning of your loop. And usually at that point, I'll usually get a call from somebody going, hey, my pedal's broken, there's something wrong with it, it's not recording me correctly. And in actuality, what you wanna do is you need to actually, when you're count, you need to count yourself in. So you're gonna come in on one and you're gonna go out on one. So I'm actually going to start playing my guitar and hit the pedal on one. So if I count myself and be one, two, three, four on one, start playing, hit the pedal. Same thing on the way out of the loop. I need to close the loop out. And at that point, what I want to do is I'm going to count myself out. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. And on one, basically, I'm going to push the pedal to go to close the loop out. Uh, and I'm going to give you an example of that. So I'll just do a super basic. It's going to hit a, a you know a E major chord, and I'll do a one, two, three, four. So I count myself in. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now the loop is looping over and over again seamlessly. Uh, double tap to stop. Hold it down to clear. So. If you want to do it with a little bit more uh, complex kind of rhythm, so I get one, two, three, four.
right over it. Yeah. But that's kind of basically a basic kind of understanding. So remember, you got to come in on one. So you're going to start playing, and you're going to start uh, start the actual you know step on the pedal to start the loop. And then the same thing you're going to count. You know, so if you're going one, two, three, four, start playing two, three, four, and then you can push the pedal again on the way out on one. To realize with the RC one, it's just a single track looper. You can save the last, whatever the last recording you've made, it'll save it for you. But there's no memories or anything else like that. And it's the most basic looper we have. It is stereo in and out, uh, which is great for, you know, you can use it for keyboards and for, you know, for other instruments other than just guitar. Uh, but it is for guitar players, it's kind of our entry level one. So it's the one we usually recommend. And uh, quite funny enough is I think Austin and I, even when we're going out to shows and demoing and stuff like that, I think we almost always have a RC1 uh, on, on hand with us. It's just a, it's an easy one for us to make loops and add, you know, extra, uh, you know, uh, you know, fun for us when we're jamming or trying to demonstrate something. So it's really cool. Yeah, it's definitely one of those like, you know, must haves on the board for for us when we're going around doing demos and stuff. But um, uh, real quickly, uh, just to show you, because Aaron, your display actually can change as well as the recording order. Yeah. Uh, and I just wanted to show everyone how to get into this menu real quick. So right now I got an RC1, right? Right here. Uh, it's powered on. It's just a dummy cable, and I got a little battery here. Um, but what you're going to do in order to change the record order or the display you're going to want to do is you're going to want to power it off, right? And you're going to want to hold down on the pedal simultaneously while you power it on or plug it in. And now we're kind of brought to this half circle menu and red is going to be the recording order. So basically if the red is on the bottom, playback is going to be first to change it. I just double tap twice. And if red is on top, that means overdub is going to come first. And there's a couple of other features too. If you press once, it goes to green. Green is going to change the actual display. So if it's on top, it'll just be a countdown wheel all the way down. Or if it's on the bottom, then it'll do the action like you just saw Aaron's video do where it has like a big wheel thing and then click, big wheel and then click. Um, just to kind of show you how to get into the menu to change a couple of those things because um, uh, yeah, it might actually come out of the box like that. So again, press and hold plug it in, and then you're pretty much in the menu. When you're done, all you do is just unpower it and then just plug it in like normal, and then you basically have your your display there. So really, really cool. Thank you for that. That's a good one for a lot of people. And realize that how it's done, like people will do different uh, setups for how they want to play. Some people like to go straight into overdub mode. Uh, other people like to go into playback mode. I tend to like to go into playback mode because I'm usually after my first loop. I'm like, Phew, okay, I got it. <laughs> same, same here, and I've been doing it for years. <laughs> yeah, but the the pros that are out there, I see them. They they like to go straight into overdub mode. They're going to usually. Uh, the the reason why you would want to do that is because it's basically you can cut down the amount of time that you're listening to the loop repeat over and over again if you're not adding a second part or another part to something. Uh, count count yourself in, right? Let me clear this out real quick. So let's say I'm going to count myself in here on this one. One, two, three, four. So it's looping, right? I can add another part in, overdub. Jam over it. Add another part. do that for days <laughs> yeah you can keep going on and on and on with overdubs yeah. and stuff like that and that's kind of, that's actually in all of our loopers all of our loopers can do that and it's a 12 minute uh basically 12 minute loop on the rc1